Okay, let's talk about writing money amounts. Now, for a very long time, we've been using the cents symbol to write money amounts. And you should know also that there's another way to write money amounts, and that would involve using a dollar sign with a decimal point. And hopefully you do remember that you never need both of those symbols at the same time. You pick to use one or the other. For example, if you wanted to write the money amount 68 cents, you're familiar with writing it that way. You write 68 and then you put the cents symbol after the number. There's another way that you could write that same money amount using a dollar sign. Immediately following the dollar sign, you would have how many dollars there are. Since there are no dollars in this money amount, we could use a zero, or you could leave that blank also. Your decimal point comes next because that tells you that everything after that dot, after that decimal point, is the amount of cents. So there are zero dollars and 68 cents. And that's where we stop. We do not need a cents symbol anymore. This would look like that if you chose not to write that zero in there for zero dollars. You have that choice. If you had a larger amount, for example, 225 cents, you probably remember that once you get up to a hundred cents, that's a dollar. So in this case, if there's two hundred cents, we actually have two dollars here. And then the rest of the, uh, this amount would be how many cents are with that $2. So another way we could write this money amount using the dollar sign is $2. The decimal point goes there, and we say the word and, $2 and 25 cents. Once again, I stop there. I don't need the cents symbol. Where this gets just a little bit tricky is when we have money amounts like nine cents. To write that using the dollar sign and the decimal point, there's something you have to remember. You may leave this blank when there are zero dollars, or you could put a zero in there, and then you have your decimal point. The important thing to remember here, though, is that after the decimal point, we must have two digits. So since I only have nine cents, if I put my nine right here and I leave the next blank empty, then that really looks like 90. That's 90 cents, not nine cents. So I need to make sure that I'm using two digits after the decimal point to show nine cents. I can think of this as tens and ones. The number nine has zero tens and just nine ones. So this is how you make nine cents using the dollar sign and the decimal point. Nine cents. Seventeen cents. Seven cents. One cent. There's a few examples. After that quick review, I would like to practice writing some money amounts now. So would you please get your whiteboard out with a marker and an eraser, and we'll practice writing some money amounts using the do, uh, dollar sign and the decimal point together. You can get your materials now and press pause on this video and when you're ready to continue press play. So here's how I would like to complete this activity. For each problem here where we're counting money and writing the money amount I would like you to work on it first all by yourself without my help. So that means you're probably going to have to press pause on the video, take some time, count up the money, write this money amount on your whiteboard. 
And then when you think you are finished with that one, go ahead and press play and then watch me give the answer and make sure you had the correct answer. Um, and then if you can watch me count it and see if you made a mistake, you'll see what you did wrong. And then if you wrote it incorrectly, then you'll see me helping as well. So you try this one first, press pause now, count up those coins and write that money amount and press play when you're ready to continue. Okay, hopefully you are all done counting these coins in the first question and writing this money amount. I'm going to show you how I would count these coins. Always your best idea to start with the largest valued coins. So right here I see two quarters. I know that two quarters is 50 cents. I like to go to dimes after that. So I have 50. Here's 10 more. That's 60, 70, 80. Now I'm going to go over here to these nickels that might look different to you. I know that two nickels together makes 10 cents, so I'm just going to keep counting by tens. That's 90 cents. And then I have four more pennies, 91, 92, 93, and 94. So over here now I need to write 94 cents. Well, I know that that means there's zero dollars, so I can either put a zero in here or leave that blank. And then I need to write 94 cents. So after my decimal point, decimal point, I fill in the 94. I hope that's what you got for your answer, or if not, I hope you uh, were able to figure out what you may have done incorrectly by watching me. So now let's move on to the next problem with the eraser here that's being purchased. I want you to go ahead and count up the coins, write the money amount, and then uh, re-watch the video to see if you did it correctly. So you'll want to press pause now. Okay, hopefully you are all done with your own counting and writing the money amount. And now you're checking to see if you did that correctly. The first thing my eyes notice is four quarters. What's four quarters, my friends? Yep, that's right. That makes a dollar already. Now I could write down a dollar over here um, on my money amount, but I better wait just in case when I add up the rest of the coins, it might make more than just one dollar. So I better just wait. Oh, I see a whole lot of dimes. I love counting by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And this is a nickel, so 75 cents. So altogether I have $1.75. Okay, next up, looks like we are purchasing a newspaper. Would you please count up your coins, write the money amount using the dollar, cent, dollar sign and the decimal point, and then watch to see if you did it correctly. You might want to press pause right now. All right, so here we go. I see one dollar this time, that's helpful. One dollar bill there. So I know that I'm going to at least have one dollar. I better continue counting though before I write anything. I'm gonna to go to my next largest coin value. There's my dimes, 10, 20, 30. And again, since I like counting by 10 so much, I'll just look at both of these nickels and know that that's 10 more. So that's 40, and 5 more is 45, 46, 47, 48, 49 cents. One dollar, 49 cents. How'd you do? All right, and to buy the pencil, would you please count up that money amount and write it down on the lines and then check your work by continuing to watch the video. All right, so let's count it up. I see right away there are two dollar bills here, so I know that there's two dollars. And then I have six more pennies. So that's two dollars and six cents. Two dollars, and hopefully you were careful here. Six cents. The number six has zero tens and six ones. So hopefully you filled in the change, the coin amount, with a zero first, and then your six. Here's your tens, here's your ones. Two dollars and six cents. Should look like that. Okay, I have a few more for you here. How about a coffee cup? Let's purchase a coffee cup. Would you count up that money amount and write 
that amount on the lines. Right away I see the one dollar bill, I see 50 cents, 60, here's 10 more, 70, 71, 72, 73. So I have one dollar and seventy-three cents. All right, robot time here. How much does this robot cost? You see what I see? I see two dollar bills. You know that that three quarters is. 75 cents. Five more than that would be 80 cents. So the robot is $2.80. $2.80. Next up are the tomatoes. Count up the coins and the dollar bill there and write the money amount and see how you did. Okay, did you come up with $1.75? Here's one dollar, here's fifty cents, sixty, seventy, and five more, seventy-five. Okay, and last but not least, we have the coach's whistle. How much for the coach's whistle, or Mrs. Smith's whistle? Let's count it up here. We have one dollar. Is this 50 cents right here? Ah, uh, no, be careful. Remember, those are those nickels. This must be a newer nickel than the ones you are used to seeing. So that's 10 cents. One dollar, 10 cents, 20, 30. One dollar, 53 cents. Okay, that'll do it. Nice work practicing counting money and writing money amounts using dollar signs and decimal points.